a million dollar fraud scheme and a lot of victims. This all happened through an alleged growth and coaching business, part of it run on social media. Reports are flooding in that Shirley Strawberry, in the wake of an unfathomable scandal and the sting of public criticism, has faced such despair that she reportedly attempted to harm herself. Don't go anywhere as I dive into this emotionally charged situation, bringing you the gripping details of the saga that's left us all in disbelief. Hi everyone and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. Today we're diving deep into the tumultuous storm that has hit Shirley Strawberry leaving us all aghast. I've got exclusive details from insiders, her daughter's comments, and all the jaw-dropping facts surrounding this unfolding drama. From the shocking betrayal by her husband, Ernesto, to the barrage of public criticism, it's been a whirlwind that has left Shirley grappling with the aftermath. But how has she been coping with this nightmare? How has this scandal impacted her life? Let's dig in. Sometimes when your friends or people you love are going through it and they start talking, Sometimes you, they just want you to listen. They don't want your opinion. The realization of one's partner's deceit is profoundly unsettling. But when this deception unfolds to reveal your spouse as a fugitive from the law, it triggers an earthquake of betrayal that threatens to level the very core of your existence. This is not just a hypothetical situation, but the tumultuous reality in which renowned author and co-host of the hit The Steve Harvey Morning Show, Shirley Strawberry, finds herself her husband's recent brush with the law has caused ripples of shock and disbelief in her life. Move on. And it's nothing wrong with that because that is life. You have to move on. You know, that's how we learn. We make mistakes. We move on. It's no small hiccup in the road. Shirley Strawberry's husband is caught in a legal malik that casts an intimidating shadow over their future. He stands accused of organizing a fraud scheme, theft of $1 million, possession of unregistered weapons, and psychoactive substances. In addition, the police found questionable photos of minors on his computer. Considering his past legal battles, these charges might earn him a sentence ranging from 25 years to a lifetime behind bars. I would also request that there be an ankle monitor placed on Mr. Williams, as well as that have no internet access at all and no contact with any minors or animals. Shirley's situation has spiraled into a full-blown crisis, pitching her into an abyss of despair and putting her strength and resilience to the test. Recognized for her accomplishments as an author and her unwavering character as a co-host on The Steve Harvey Morning Show, she is now forced to confront an unprecedented personal tumult. The added dimension of Steve Harvey's suspected involvement in her husband's legal woes only makes matters more complicated. As if the storm wasn't already raging, a grim incident transpired. An insider close to Shirley's family confided an ambulance was called to Shirley's house. She was hospitalized. It was a dreadful scare for us all. According to sources, the severe emotional toll and the enveloping darkness of depression led Shirley to cut off communication with her loved ones, including her own daughter. Amidst the ongoing turmoil, it is speculated that Shirley attempted to harm herself. The daughter, with whom Shirley shares an intimate bond, suspected something amiss and stepped in just in time. Fans and viewers alike breathed a sigh of relief knowing that the situation didn't escalate further. This revelation perhaps provides a bleak explanation for Shirley's sudden disappearance from the public eye and the lack of any news or updates from her side, especially considering her husband's allegations and the ensuing scandal. So what sparked the fire that illuminated Ernesto's web of lies? Shirley Strawberry's husband, Ernest Williams, is neck deep in a roster of grave charges, all rooting from his involvement in substantial scams. This turn of events triggered a thorough investigation by the authorities intent on bringing light to the severity of his actions. And people paid good money for their services, but walked away with nothing. Police say it was all a scam. Williams, together with his alleged accomplice, Erica King, is believed to have constructed a sophisticated property scam, skillfully exploiting their portrayed expertise in business growth, development, and coaching to swindle unsuspecting victims. Well, more than a dozen people scammed out of a million dollars. Two people have been arrested on a number of fraud charges. Following a lengthy and painstaking investigation by the Roswell Police Department, Ernest Williams and Erica King found themselves cornered. The intensive probe dug up a multi-million dollar fraudulent business operation, culminating in the duo's arrest. The department laid a broad spectrum of charges against the pair, highlighting the seriousness of their alleged offenses, which ranged from fraud and forgery to outright theft. Key to this woven complex of deceit is Erica King, who conveniently used an array of aliases like Erica Healy and Erica Hooley Rothschild. Operating covertly within an average residential property, Williams and King managed to evade suspicion, carrying on their deceptive practices until their activities eventually drew the attention of law enforcement. Initial reports of fishy business at a particular address on Pine Grove Road kickstarted the Roswell Police Department's investigation into Williams and King, revealing the breadth of their clandestine operations. 
essentially position themselves as experts in the fields of business growth, development, coaching, things of that nature. Within their intricately designed scheme, Williams and King set up a network of dummy companies, ingeniously camouflaging their actual intentions while claiming to provide business growth, development, and coaching services. They lured unsuspecting individuals, tapping into their dreams and aspirations, promising to help them reach their goals, be it business expansion, personal missions, brand building, social media growth, or even acquiring luxury vehicles. Quest more and more payment, promising that those services and goods would be later provided, but never making good on those promises. As self-proclaimed brand gurus Williams and King craftily constructed a facade of grandeur, selling lofty promises that enchanted their victims, serving them an illusion of exponential business and personal growth. And, of course, after the client got tired of paying money and getting no response, Ernesto and Erica would disappear from the radar. And there's going to be numerous upcoming warrants coming in this case. I believe uh, Roswell told us today when we check for an update. Ernesto's transgressions, unfortunately, don't stop at scamming unsuspecting victims. When law enforcement apprehended him, an unregistered Glock was discovered in his car, alongside psychoactive substances stashed in the glove compartment. Uh, before the 13th, there's going to be about 15 plus more warrants coming his direction, serious felonies in there. But it doesn't end there. During the search of his residence, a laptop computer was confiscated and it was revealed to hold disturbing content, photographs, and videos of minors. The shocking discoveries escalate the severity of Ernesto's case, especially given his past criminal record. As per state law, these compounding charges could lead to a life sentence. He's considered dangerous. Shirley's ordeal takes on an even darker tone when it was unveiled during the investigation that Ernesto planned an escape. We consider this person to be a flight risk. We have jail calls where he's talking about going to see his girlfriend in Florida. In intercepted phone calls, he expressed his intention to flee to Florida to rendezvous with his girlfriend with plans to take refuge in Steve Harvey's mansion. We have a call where he was talking with his wife about going to stay in her boss's house. I'm going to leave out all the names here, as Mr. Lewis did as well. A further betrayal emerges. Ernesto, aside from being unfaithful to Shirley, had also involved her business partner and friend, Steve Harvey, in his web of deceit. Ernesto and Steve's connection isn't surprising, as they've maintained a close friendship since 2013. Indeed, it was Steve who introduced Ernesto to Shirley, and it was on Steve's show that Ernesto asked Shirley for her hand in marriage. <laughs> for those of you just listening, a man is walking in the room right When piecing together these shocking revelations, it's impossible not to comprehend the immense blow this must have been to Shirley. She spent almost a decade living with a man who was not just a criminal, but involved in despicable crimes. To add salt to the wound, he was unfaithful, and even her closest friend betrayed her. Uh, you know, some people say deservedly so, because he cheated, he had a beautiful family, and he cheated and, and lost his family. The media frenzy that ensued added to her grief, with accusations flying that she covered up her husband's wrongdoings. It's understandable how such circumstances could push someone into a depressive state. For now, all hopes are pinned on Shirley's well-being. Insider sources report that her daughter stays with her constantly, though no further information about Shirley's condition is currently available. As the news of Shirley's ordeal circulated, fans rallied around her, expressing their heartfelt sympathy and unwavering support through comments on social media, particularly YouTube. The sentiment toward Shirley's situation has been overwhelming, painting a clear picture of the fans' sentiments. One comment reflecting a sense of personal connection and empathy read, Shirley, if you're reading this, I pray that God gives you strength during this difficult time. My heart just breaks for us, women who fall in love with men who mean us no good. The wave of encouragement didn't end there. Another fan sent a reassuring message. Stay strong, Shirley. God got you. This brief yet powerful statement highlights the belief in Shirley's resilience and is a testament to the faith her followers have in her ability to persevere. Moreover, many fans focused on Shirley's character, expressing that her ordeal was underserved given her nature. A supporter echoed this sentiment, saying, Shirley is a beautiful person and she doesn't deserve this. I'm going to continue to pray for her in her trying time. The outpouring of support is evidence of the strong bond between Shirley and her followers. Despite the controversies and the harsh circumstances, her fans remain steadfast in their support, offering words of encouragement and prayers for her well-being. Their opinions collectively paint a picture of strength and resilience, holding on to hope even amidst adversity. What a right it's been, folks. We've journeyed through the astonishing facts of Shirley's ordeal, the shocking betrayal of her husband, the criticism from the public, and the immense strain it has placed on her life. Yet, amidst all this turmoil, Shirley's resilience has shown through, albeit out of the public eye. The strength of the bond between Shirley and her fans is evident in the outpouring of support she's received, showing the power of unity even in the face of adversity. Now, here's something to ponder. How would you handle a situation like Shirley's? How do you think she should respond to the scandal moving forward? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, every storm runs out of rain, so let's continue to stand with Shirley as she navigates this storm. 
thank you all for tuning in and joining me on this wild ride through the fascinating world of celebrity rumors. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button and smash that like button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest updates. Until next time, stay curious, stay entertained, and keep those comments coming. Peace out.